Hi there, welcome along. I'm Claire Garland and this is the second stage of my knit along for making the beginner's bunny. Okay, so you have the knitted bunny head and now you want to make the ears, attach the eyes and join the seams that become the nose and the back of the head. Step 8. We're going to join the nose seam. Fold the cast on edge, this was the edge from the very beginning of the pattern, in half. Right side, knit side together, or reverse side, purl side out. Then match your chin markers together. These were the first markers you placed. Mine were pink ones if you remember. Now take your threaded up yarn and secure the end with a small stitch to act as a locking stitch. Carefully make small stitches along the edge, taking the needle down for each stitch behind the end of the previous stitch. Make sure you are sewing in a straight line, as close to the edge as possible. It might sound obvious, but it's very easy to pick up stitches that are further away from the edge than you think. You want the sewing to be as invisible as possible. Give the end a gentle tug to tighten the seam stitches. And now join across the seam, which will become the nose. You can leave your tail ends, they make for perfect stuffing later. Remove the chin. Turn the nose seam out to the right side. Now for the important bit to shape the nose seam and to lose the angular edge which the seam creates. With your thumb on the wrong side of the nose, on the inside of the nose, behind the seam, rub and smooth out the seam to create a rounded nose. It's fine to do this with knitting. It's this what I do all the time with my knitting. Uh, it kind of creates a, a softer edge to the to the seam that I'm that I'm just sewn. And I just, I just think it helps with the, the overall shape. Now you'll join the head back seam. Fold the cast off edge for the head back seam in half, again with right side, knit side together, and back stitch to join both halves of the cast off edge from the corners to where you folded. Then turn out to the right side. And smooth out that seam again. You, you can carry on smoothing out and reshaping when you've stuffed the head as well. Tuck your loose ends inside your head before adding a little bit more stuffing. You can use yarn endings for the whole head if you want to. But I tend to use this fibre, fibre fill it's called. and more fussing and shaping. Step 9 If you are choosing to use toy eyes, insert and secure the eyes in place at each side of the head. The eyes I use are resin or plastic ones which come with either a metal or plastic push-on washer style back. They're called safety toy eyes but are not recommended for very young children because of the choking hazard, in which case you could embroider eyes instead, maybe. For that I'd recommend sewing straight lines around a centre point, similar to the spokes on a bicycle wheel, only more closer together. 
could also add a little white highlight to the eye edge too for extra detail. Speaking of details, and squish. I've used some doubled up dark grey four ply yarn here but you can use anything you like for sewing the nose like black sewing cotton or embroidery thread that's your choice. Now we are going to make the ears with the help of my children. In the written pattern I suggested making the ears after the body but for the purposes of this video we're making them before the body but it doesn't really matter, it's up to you. So after casting on eight stitches you'll work some stocking stitch rows that is a knit row followed by a purl row then a knit row etc until you have completed all eight rows as written in the pattern. We're now onto the short row part of the ears. The abbreviation for this is W with a plus sign, T, and either K or P, which means wrap and turn and either knit or purl. And this is how you work these shaping rows. On a knit row, which is wrap and turn K knit, bring the working yarn to the front of the work. You slip the next stitch knitwise onto the right hand needle. You take the working yarn to the back. You slip the slip stitch back onto the left hand needle and you turn the knitting. On a purl row, you work up to where it says wrap and turn P. Take the working yarn to the back of the work, you slip the next stitch purlwise onto the right hand needle. You bring the working yarn to the front, you slip the slipped stitch back onto the left hand needle, and then you turn.
cast off the ear at the ear edge, this becomes the sort of bottom edge of the ear. So when you've cast it off, you will cut your yarn and weave the tail end all along one side of the ear just to make that sort of edge really neat. Don't be afraid to just pull the knitting a little just to shape your ears in the way that you want them. A little bit of tugging here and there doesn't harm the yarn at all. Almost come to the end of the finishing of the head of the bunny. So you've just got to join your ears to your head. So you'll fold your ear in half across the cast on edge. Okay, and then you will you want to join that sort of folded edge onto the side of the head. It's up to you whether you want the lock ear or whether you want ears that sort of stick up. So you just go over the stitches, join it to the side of the head, and as neatly as you can. If you notice that the fold of the ear actually lies to the, towards the back of the head, the open ends towards the front. And that's the head done. So what we're going to do in the next tutorial is we're going to sew on the body. Uh, we actually attach it onto the head directly by working what is known as pick-up stitches between those markers, so hopefully you've still got your markers in place. And yeah, that, that's the next stage, so I look forward to seeing you then. <laughs>